or do any consultation reading, which basically is a discovery reading for me to tap into the spiritual energy and find out what's going on, as well as the situation to see if we can do any spiritual work and if this is going to help. So the first thing I do is I connect to this person's spirit guides and ask them to let me see their energy. What is going on? What do I need to know? You can be doing spiritual work if your energy is blocked because it defeats the purpose. Okay, so right away, lots of negativity based off her spiritual energy. And I'll tell you the situation in a second. Um, so in order to do any spiritual work, we're going to have to clear this out a little bit, okay? And she's wanting to know about her marriage and her husband. So let's see what's going on with his energy. Okay, so this is a very difficult situation and we need to find out what is going on here because right away it's like he has negative energy um, that he's bringing into the relationship and it's affecting her and it's affecting everything in general. I see a lot of um, talking evil eye um, and I would probably say that somebody doesn't want you guys together because the energy here is just very heavy. So now we're going to look at the energy in the relationship. What do we need to know? he goes again okay so the energy he's bringing in all the negative energy but we need to find out where is this energy coming from and what is the root cause of it so to give you a general idea um she says they've been together for 20 years and separated for four he asked for a divorce but refuses to pay for it and he has cheated multiple times lied to me and abused of and there's been like an exchange of this between them um, he's been very mean and disrespectful. Um, he made a comment that you believe that she believes that he is setting him setting her up for um, failure. So she's trying to figure out if they can work on this marriage or if it's time to kind of like let it go. Okay. So the whole abusive thing, we can already see that there's a lot of negative energy on him. And right away, I can tell you that there is some spiritual attachment to him that is creating, making him be very mean and angry. And, you know, you can't be, have a good relationship and be a good partner when you have all this negative energy attached to you. Okay. So we'll tap a little bit further into what's going on, but I do want to, I ask my spirits every time, can I help save this marriage? Can I help this situation? Because sometimes... You know, I'm not the per the right person to do the work. It doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with me. Sometimes it's just that my energy can help this. But we'll ask spirits, can I help this marriage? Can I help this situation? Can I help this person? Okay, so that's a big yes. All right. So now we're going to look a little bit further into what do we need to know about this marriage? What are his feelings for her? And I feel like this is something that he's had on him for a long time all right so i do feel that he does love you but it's again it's hard to be a good partner a good husband when your energy is just really bad and when you're with somebody that has this negative energy it's going to affect your energy as well so i charge 13 dollars for these consultations they do take depending on the situation sometimes they take me a little bit longer. This is one that is going to be a little bit more in depth. I don't charge a lot because I feel like it's something that, you know, I can do to kind of give back to you. And it kind of gives me uh, an idea if I can even help you or, you know, do spiritual work. So I do feel that there's somebody who has been influencing him. There's a woman from the past that has kind of taken, gotten a hold of him for her benefit. 
and again i feel like some somebody has been trying to break you two apart somebody has done some spiritual work to break this relationship apart but because of the ties that you guys have it hasn't fully broken up you know but what it does is that it's creating blockages so only because somebody's doing spiritual work on you doesn't mean that you know it's going to manifest the way they want it um but it can create <clears throat> sorry blockages and just bad situations in the relationship all right so let's see what his feelings are for you and sorry i don't always read upside down cards he does love you he's just been really bored of the situation between you guys for a while there's definitely love there but he's bored of it you know it's just his nature he gets bored it's like things haven't been fun for a while so what is going on is that you know that love is there underneath everything but you know his nature just kind of wants him to you know lurk around and and do what he wants and so my thoughts are if something hasn't worked out in um 20 years and it's probably going to be you know a lot harder to bring it back uh, let's see what spirits have to say is there potential to fix this marriage or is it done sorry we have to kind of shuffle the cards and get the energy going because we got to keep tapping into the energy is there potential to save this marriage and bring it back or is it done I feel like the energy is very much rooted on him and he kind of just wants to do what he wants to do it's his nature you know he wants to be free he wants to do what he wants and it's really hard to fight against somebody's nature okay so spirits are kind of pointing that you know it's probably better to just divorce and go your separate ways <clears throat> So I feel like with spiritual work, you could probably help this, but I'm not going to lie. You're going to go down uh, what I consider a rabbit hole of spells because it's going to be a lot of clearing out. So only you can figure out how important this is to you. All right. So normally my advice is let's do a little bit of spiritual work, cleaning out the energy and um, work on it for about six months, right? Where we do the clearing work, we renew the relationship and we see how the energy is flowing. So I always say, don't walk away from something until you've done everything that you could. That way, the days that you have to walk away, you don't have to look back wondering, okay, did I miss something? Or, you know, kind of like have those doubts. So my recommendation is let's work on clearing out the negative energy. Let's try and renew the relationship. I do see that he does love you, okay? There's a certain love that he has for you that he just doesn't have with anyone else, okay? Like you are his wife, you are the mother of his children, um, and this is what keeps them back to you, coming back to you. I feel like if you clear out the negative energy and kind of get him to a better place, he'll be able to focus on what he needs to do. Okay, so we definitely need to do a lot of clearing. Okay, so once we clear out this negative energy... Is there potential for this marriage to be saved? Yes. So Spirits are saying that with spiritual work, this relationship can be re re, um, can be revived and, and can allow a fresh start, okay? So I would probably definitely work on this for a little while, about six months that we do um, some clearing work and renew the relationship and, and then see how it's flowing. And then I would probably give it through the rest of the year. And at the end of the year, if this hasn't fully manifested the way that you want it to, at least you can have that closure. But spirits are saying that once we clear out this negative energy, the relationship will be revived. So I would consider this to be successful and something that we can work together on. 